The illustration below shows the graph of y as a function of x. So that's this graph right over here. And then they start to ask us some questions. Complete the sentences based on the graph of the function. So this axis is our y-axis, a vertical axis, horizontal axis is x-axis. Initially, as x increases, so let's think about it. Initially, so when we start from x equals zero and x is increasing, what's happening to y? Well, y is decreasing, so y decreases. So as x increases initially, y decreases. The slope of the graph is equal to blank for all x between x equals zero and x equals three. So x equals zero and x equals three, what's the slope? Well, every time we move one in the x direction, we move down in the y direction. We go negative one in the y direction. Move up one in the x direction, we go negative one in the y direction. So our change in y over our change in x, our change in y is negative one whenever our change in x is one. So our change in y over our change in x, which is the definition of slope, is negative one over one, so it's negative one. And we see that. Every time x increases by one, y decreases by one. Starting at x equals three, Starting is at x equals three, blank, y blank as x increases. So starting at x equals three, y increases as x increases. As x increases, y is increasing. So y increases as x increases. The slope of the graph is equal to blank, but for x between three and five. For x between three and five. So when x increases by one, y is increasing by three. So change in y is three, change in x is one. Slope is change in y over change in x, which is three over one. So the slope here is three. Every time x increases by one, y increases by three. For x between x equals zero and x equals four, y, and let's see, we can pick greater than, less than, or, e, or less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, or equal. So for x equals zero, and x equals four, y is less than, is less than or equal to zero. So let's do less than or equal to zero. And then they say for x between x equals four and x equals eight, well then y is greater than or equal to zero. So let's make sure that we got it, we didn't make any careless mistakes here. Let's check our answer, we got it right.